So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some production against this work order. I'm going to add a new posting record. I'm going to start picking the products that have been made so far. So I'll pick the A size. Uh, let's say we've made 20 of those. We'll pick the B size and they've made 20 of those. Same with the C's for 20 and with the large. Twenty of those. So at this point I can save and those will be in inventory available for sale now. I can do another posting by adding a record here like this and I can bring in the inputs. So for example I can put in the bulk potatoes. Let's say that in order to make those 80 bins I used 500 C weights of the uh, bulk potatoes and at this point I've made 80 bins so I'll bring 80 stickers in. like that and I'll save that so that will have now depleted the stickers and the bulk potatoes from inventory and there are two postings in the system to cover that work so it's your choice whether you want to do everything in one posting or whether you want to do multiple small postings as you go through the work the other thing that you might want to do is put labor and overhead fees in now so what we do is we highlight the input line for labor and we click on the post labor button and it brings up a different screen here where we can put in the labor so if I add a labor posting and go up here it puts today's date and time in I can pick an employee from my list and I can put how many hours they spent let's say four hours and 30 minutes it brings forward their default hourly rate you can change that if you wish and you can add and perhaps this work was done by two employees so you might bring in the other one and put four hours and 30 minutes of that person's time in as well. And when we save that, we've now added some labor fees. I'm going to go back and put overhead in in a similar way. So I'm going to highlight the overhead item. I'm going to click on the post overhead button to bring forward the screen. I'm going to do an ad. And in here, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put in $100. And you can put in a description of what the overhead is for. It can be anything you like. In my example, I'm just going to put overhead and save. And that completes the posting of the overhead. So if we go back to the work order now, we've got some product made, we've got some raw materials used up, and we've got some labor and some overhead charges put in. So you would continue in that fashion to finish the work order off.